Hello traders, this is Elizabeth Belogina and you are watching Stock Market Review by Tradimo. It's Wednesday, April 10th and the markets are awaiting the meeting minutes of the Federal Reserve. We all remember that in March the US Central Bank made a dovish turn which helped US stocks um, turn upwards and gain bullish momentum. Let's have a look at the chart of S&P 500. Here is the recent advance of uh, the stock market uh, in the beginning of April, which took the prices to levels above um, 28.80. Now there is uh, some kind of correction uh, which took place on Tuesday. Traders were concerned about trade tensions between the United States and European Union, trade tensions and the lack of news about the deal between the US and China. In addition, IMF um, and the European Central Bank sounded um, negative about the global economic growth prospects. All of that uh, let uh, US stocks uh, fill their resistance levels, but uh, the Federal Reserve may um, either increase the fears or soothe the market with the prospect of more uh, cheaper liquidity. All in all, um, we don't think that correction will be able to take S&P 500 uh, really low. Support is located around uh, 2850 where we find the short-term support line and the next important level to watch is in the area of 28 advance above uh, the areas of 2911 will open the way upwards and the markets will be eyeing the um, all-time high in the area of 2950 and the psychological level of 3000 if we see which uh, shares are currently the most interesting, we need to pay attention to the stock of Lyft. Here we can see the big decline ahead of the fact that on Thursday, the Lyft's main competitor, Uber, will release the details about its upcoming IPO. As a result, um, if uh, Uber is very optimistic, we will see more negative pressure on uh, the stock of Lyft. Pay attention to the stocks of airlines, Airbus and uh, Boeing. Both stocks are under pressure. Boeing found some support, but the overall picture remains negative. Um, Airbus sees support uh, far below the current price, so more declines are possible. For Boeing, the situation is um, aggravated by internal problems, but both airlines are vulnerable to trade tensions between the United States and Europe. Have a look at the stock of Tesla. Here we can see that the stock is trying to find support and uh, not to get to the lower levels. The news were that uh, lawmakers began to push to expand federal tax credits for buyers of electric cars. The news are mildly positive for Tesla and if indeed uh, they will manage to make progress there, that will help Tesla to return to much higher levels in the medium and longer term. These were the main uh, events. Um, also, AMD stock uh, is interesting. It met resistance and started declining, but is having support around 27.30 uh, area. The decline below the level will open the way um, down to 25. However, the analyst made a forecast that the price should be around 33, and that may help the stock stabilize and try to revisit highs. This is all for today. Thank you for your attention and subscribe to Tradimo YouTube channel.